Numbers have become a very important part of football players and their identity. And today, we want to look at the origin of some of these numbers. These are some of your favorite football players and how they got their jersey numbers. Trust me, it gets more interesting and even more emotional as you go. Let's start with the GOAT Cristiano Ronaldo. There is hardly a number in football which is more iconic than Cristiano's number 7. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner has made a global recognized brands out of it. A brand so big that you would not believe that he never wanted the number in the first place. See, when Ronaldo moved to Manchester United in 2003, he requested the number 28 because that's what he had worn at Sporting CP and he wanted to remain consistent with that. But Man United said no way. They were surely not going to allow the most expensive teenager in the world to wear just any number. So they forced the number 7 on him. Everyone at United knew Ronaldo was going to be a star and that's why they gave him the number which held a lot of significance in United's history after having been worn by some greats like David Beckham, Eric Cantona and George Best. It didn't take Cristiano long to prove that he indeed deserved that number. He rocked it so well and even went on to make the CR7 brand out of it, arguably the biggest brand in sports in the last 15 years. But while Ronaldo's iconic number was forced on him, his former teammate Emmanuel Adebayor had a much simpler story. The Togolese striker had always admired and idolized former Nigerian player Kanu Dwanko. So when his dream of playing for Arsenal came true, the same club his idol played for, he knew what he had to do. He immediately picked the number 25, which was the same number Kanu wore while he was at Arsenal. He did that to pay homage to his hero. Isn't that just so sweet? And you know who else chose his number to pay homage to his hero? Bellingham. At Borussia Dortmund and Birmingham City, Bellingham wore the number 22. And honestly, it had a pretty interesting story behind it. It was said that he picked that number because it underlined his versatility. While most boys his age want the number 10, the guys at Birmingham told him he was more than just a 10. He was good as a 10, a 4, and an 8. Add those three numbers up and you get the number 22, which Jude wore at Birmingham City. Yes, the same number the club retired when he left in 2020 at just 17 years of age. He picked up that same number when he joined Dortmund and we expected he'd continue with it after his big money move to Real Madrid in the summer of 2023, but he decided to go another route. The young midfielder abandoned the number 22 and picked up the number 5 and he said his reason for picking that number was to pay homage to one of his idols Zinedine Zidane who wore the number 5 when he played for Real Madrid. Many say he should just have kept his number 22 and made it his thing, but well it's always sweet to see young players pay homage to their idols, isn't it? By the way, he still wears the number 22 for England, so that counts for something, doesn't it? Anyway, let's now look at some really interesting numbers. Have you ever wondered why Trent Alexander-Arnold wears the number 66? You'd expect some sentimental story, but it's actually just all thanks to a man named Lee Radcliffe, Liverpool's kit management coordinator. So there's this unspoken rule that academy players are given high numbers when they first break into the first team. Apparently, they do that so the kids don't immediately feel like they have arrived. Well, that's the exact principle that Radcliffe followed when he threw Trent the number 66 and the right back just fell in love with the number and never dropped it. He has been asked a couple of times if he wanted a new number. You know, something that feels more like a first team member. But each time he has said no, he just stick with the 66. But Trent's international teammate Phil Foden is much more sentimental than him. You know, Foden wears the number 47, right? But the question now is, how did he get that number? Well, it's a pretty emotional story. Anyone who knows Foden knows that he's a big family man. He loves his family so much and uses every opportunity to pay homage to them. And unsurprisingly, his jersey number is paying homage to family too. His grandfather, Ronnie, died at the age of 47. And that's why Foden wears the number 47 till date. He even has a tattoo on his neck in honor of his granddad. To show you how much this number means to him, Foden was actually offered the cherished number 10 after Aguero left Man City in 2021, but he insisted on continuing to pay homage to his grandfather with his jersey number rather than going for the flashy number 10. That was why the number eventually went to the newly signed Jack Grealish. Foden's former teammate, meanwhile, got his unique number through a very different selection process, and I'm talking about Gabriel 
Gabriel Jesus here. Throughout his Palmeiras career, he wore the number 33 bar one season. Then when he joined Man City, he picked up that same number until he switched to the number 9 in 2019. Why did he wear the number 33? Simple, because of his namesake, Jesus Christ. And nah, I'm not even joking here. According to the Bible, Jesus was crucified at the age of 33. So Gabriel Jesus picked that number to be behind his jersey in order to pay homage to his Lord and Savior. That's interesting, isn't it? Meanwhile, his new teammate at Arsenal, Declan Rice, has a story similar to that of Trent Alexander-Arnold. Rice was given the number 41 when he came up from the West Ham Academy and he has since just decided to stick with it. In fact, he says Rice 41 has a ring to it and he loves it. He has even become a little superstitious that if he changes his number, it just might affect his performances, so it seems like he's just going to stick to it until he retires. He wears the number 4 jersey while representing England though. Let's now look at Mario Balotelli. This guy wore the number 45 for the longest. When he first broke into the scene at Inter Milan, he had the number 45 at his back and he took that same number with him to City, Milan and Liverpool. So how did he get that number? Well, simple math. Strikers are known to wear the number 9, but as a 17 year old kid, he knew he wasn't getting the number 9 shirt at Inter, so he picked number 45 because 4 plus 5 equals 9. The number stuck and he just kept using it from then on. Balotelli later switched to the traditional number 9 at Nice and Marseille, but he would later switch back to 45 at Brescia. Now though, he's at Adana Demerspor and he's wearing the number 99 at his back. I guess Balotelli's theory is simple. Whatever number he wears must either be the number 9 itself or it must have a direct link to the number 9. Now that's a traditional striker right there. Now let's look at one of the most marketable football stars in the history of the sport, David Beckham. See, 7 was Beckham's number. He wore it at Manchester United and for the England national team for years. But when he moved to Real Madrid in 2003, that number wasn't available as it was being worn by Raul. And even though Beckham was a superstar, the biggest in the world at the time, Raul was the club captain, so getting him to drop that number wasn't even a conversation. So Beckham had to find himself a new number. What did he choose? He chose the number 23. Why? Because of a certain basketball goat named Michael Jordan, who David Beckham really admires. Jordan made the number 23 super iconic during his time playing for the Chicago Bulls, and the moment Beckham picked it up, he just never dropped it. He wore the number 23 at Real Madrid and LA Galaxy, and only flipped it to 32 when he went to AC Milan and PSG. Let me now wrap up this video with one of the most emotional stories of how footballers got their numbers. If you're a Premier League fan, you probably had some questions about why Wolverhampton's goalkeeper between 2018 and 2021 was wearing the number 11. Apart from the number 1, we often see keepers wear the number 13 or much bigger numbers, but Rui Patricio wore the number 11 as Wolves' first choice goalie for 3 years and it felt so weird. But when you hear the reason, you'll nearly break down in tears. So prior to Patricio joining Wolves in 2018, Wolves' number 1 goalie Carl Ikeme had just retired. But he didn't just retire, he was actually forced to say goodbye to the game he loved so much as he was undergoing treatment for acute leukemia and was in complete remission. Ikeme wore the number one jersey for Wolves until 2018, so when Patricio came in, he decided to leave the number shirt vacant to pay homage to the Nigerian shot stopper. But as a goalkeeper, he still wanted the number one, so he picked up the number 11. Throughout his three years at Wolves, the Portuguese goalie wore the number 11, but he picked his traditional number one back up when he left in 2021 to join AS Roma. Now that right there is the most emotional story of how a football player got his jersey number I have ever heard. Are there more stories like these you'd like to share with us? Feel free to tell us in the comments. While you do that, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next video. Ciao!